Save yourself, men. Don't get married. Why do you think so many men nowadays are not getting married? Up with him. It was too much. He was too great. A woman shared her regrets about not working harder to save her marriage. I just wasn't expecting guys to still be so immature in their 30s or be so mm. scared of commitment mm. because now I feel like they have an extra... When a man is in his prime, he doesn't need to worry about marriage. So I saw this trend on TikTok and it was this girl saying, why don't men want to get married? Let me also say, as a man, you shouldn't be paying no girl's bills if y'all not married. Since records began, 50.1% of women are childless by 30. I think I have just lost the one person that I've... A man getting married today is the biggest mistake he can make. No one's going to marry you, Harnam. Like, you have a beard. Mm. No one's going to date you, Harnam. You have a beard. No one's going to be your boyfriend, Harnam. You have a beard. You are not a preference to a lot of men. And then I'll get, um, like, really feminine men message me, but that's not who I'm attracted to, mm -hmm. Hannah. I like really masculine men because I am, I am very soft. Uh, I'm so different to what you see, like, on TV. You know, on TV... I've never seen you on TV. I mean, yeah. not, but no, generally, you'll see, oh, she's strong. She's, you know, what she's talking about is very powerful, whatever people say. But then at home, I'm very quiet. You know, I'm, I'm very feminine. I'm very soft. People don't get to see that side of me, you know? Um, but no, it has been difficult. Where I wanted to be married and have kids, I would never be a single mom. That's not what I've ever wanted. There could be a few reasons that I can think of off the top of my head of why a man wouldn't want to marry. One is because a yeah. man is scared to marry a person. You know, I'm successful. I have money. I've built a career. And then it doesn't work out. She leaves me. We get divorced. Half my money is gone. Two, it could simply be that I'm gonna string her along and I really have no desire to commit to this person long term. Or three, he doesn't see the importance. He can have a kid, house, three dogs and everything, move in together and never get married. Women are just using these dates to get a free meal or to kill some time. Women going on dates to simply get free meal. One third of women in a new survey admitted to going out on a date just for a free meal. They were hungry. No romantic interest. They could care, couldn't care less. They just want a free meal. So how much did my divorce cost me? Well, this is a fantastic question. There's direct and there's indirect costs. Direct costs, I lost $106,000 out of my 401k retirement plan I spent 20 years contributing to. I also lost half the equity in the home, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, cash, and savings that I also spent 20 years contributing to. I also lost half of all the non-liquid assets, like furniture, household goods, electronics, cars. Keep in mind, I paid for all of these. And this is in addition to financially supporting her and her slash our daughter for 17 years, which is many hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm now broke, live in a two-bedroom apartment, and have a negative net worth for the first time since I was, I don't know, 25. Indirect costs, my job, my sobriety, my self-worth, my masculinity, my hope for the future, my ability to trust women again, my belief in God, my pride, my motivation, my physical health. I don't know, let's just say everything. Getting married today is just like signing your life away. This man had built himself up to be very successful man, just to lose everything in the end. And it's all due to divorce. The only place where that's gotten him is the start of his new life to live in a car. Now he lost everything because he didn't have a prenup. But even if he did, these prenups don't usually last very long. The only way to protect yourself and what you have built is to not play the game. Marriage in this generation is over. It's only gonna get worse. Save yourself, men. Don't get married. Why give half your house and money away to a person who files divorce 70% of the time? My suggestion is men have different standards. Marry someone who is career oriented and also get a prenup. Question 13. Have you ever had a sexual fantasy involving one of your husband's friends? The answer is yes. True. Question 14. Do you have any romantic feelings for a man other than your husband? You're going to have to speak the answer to me. Um, the answer is yes. Question 15. Have you had sexual relations with any of your husband's friends and never told him about it? The answer is yes. True. Question 16. 
Do you think you deserve a better husband? No. Damn. There's no way you're stopping, is there? I'm going. Yeah. Question 17. Since you have been married, have you had sexual relations with a man other than your husband in your own bedroom? I need your answer. The answer is yes. Hmm. Question 18, Shannon, for $200,000. Are you still in love with Chad? Yeah, I really love him. Hmm. Get this one truthful. You win $200,000. If not, your $100,000 is gone and you leave here with $25,000. Right. Question 18, Shannon, for $200,000. Are you still in love with Chad? Yes, I really love him. That answer is true. $200,000. You teared up a little bit. I've done bad things, but I love him. Um, she may have won $200,000, but at what cost? The thing is, the husband just won some money as well once he files for divorce. This may be hard on him, but he would have found out one way or another. In my opinion, he didn't really lose anything. He can do way better. Men are not worthy of marrying nowadays. What do you think? Because most of you are broke, so you would joke. Why would I date you when you have that mindset? No! Women are the prize, men are okay, the Okay, but the thing is, women are in charge of who they want to date, but men are in charge of who they want to marry. No, and no, It seems like a lot no. of men don't... It seems like a lot of men don't want to marry somebody They're like lost. you. They're lost. So maybe work on yourself. Instead men need to work them. really hard while I do nothing for me to give it them a chance. It seems like... Men don't even want to get married anymore. <laughs> Marriage seems like it would be the best deal for a dude. You could, like, get someone to have sex with you for the rest of your life. Someone to find your wallet every day, close the cabinets behind you, pick up your socks. Okay, it would be one thing if guys would take off their socks and leave them on the floor, but they'll like pick them up and then put them by the bread. <laughs> Why are your socks by the bread? Oh, they're not all the way dirty yet. Men don't want to get married because men carry all the risk. You have to find the perfect woman, and that's not easy. Then they divorce us, get the children, the house and half hour allowance plus child support. Marriage seems like it would be the best deal ever. Said no man ever. Yeah, because running the risk of being robbed of everything because you had a bad dream is so appealing to us. You left out, lose everything and have to start over from scratch when she's not happy anymore. If it's the best deal for men, why is that it's a woman saying it? If marriage really was the best deal for men, so many of them wouldn't have been burned by it. Just ask a divorce man why he would never get married again. There is absolutely no benefits in marriage for a man. He could just hire someone for all of those things she mentioned. A simple life is better than a complicated one. Who benefits more in marriage, man or woman? I think there's no benefit for a man, unfortunately, in the Western way of marriage. I think it's so sickening that, you know, we have this agreement that women, when they divorce a man, they can just leave with a lot of his money or expect alimony for the rest of their life. And one of the things I always ask women is, are you going to have sex with him after you divorce for the rest of your life? And she's like, why would I do that? I was like, then why do you expect payment for the rest of your life? That it's so strange that they want the perks and the lifestyle of the one that they attained from jumping on the back of their husband after the divorce yet they wouldn't give anything after the divorce they didn't even give a lot of that during the marriage let alone after so I feel like it's a, a really it's almost a culture of creating sadistic women by pushing that kind of you get half after the divorce and they seem to say well you know a, a lot of the excuses oh but I wasted like, so many years being dedicated to him I wasted but you both wasted it that's a that's a risk you take you he also wasted many years being investing in you and he could have been investing in lots of other people so i just think that this uh, that's why i would be as a man living in the west unless it's for religious reasons i wouldn't recommend you getting married if you're religious absolutely but if you're non-religious and your, your wife is put, or your girlfriend is putting pressure on you uh, ask her why 
Ask her why, because a lot of them see it as a life insurance for after they get divorced, they still have a payment plan. Hmm. But this is the extremities. This is not the average woman. I would say this is more the extremities. But unfortunately, that is becoming the culture. Key sentence. Because a lot of them see it as a life insurance after the divorce, so they still have payment plan. My ex-wife ran off with a neighbor and my children. Courts gave her everything. Her excuse, she was bored. I've been paying child support for 15 years. I am tired. And my ex-wife, she never worked in her life. I totally agree with you. My ex-wife and I were together for 30 years. Hardly argued, and I paid for almost everything. She went off with someone else, she took half of everything and my pension. Marriage isn't about benefits, but rather about having a long life partner for good times and bad times. This man took the words right out of my mouth, but that's no longer the case. Modern women see marriage as a business. They're always looking for the next man they can get some money from. That's why it's very important before a man commits to a woman, you must make sure that's really the person you want to be with for the rest of your life. Men don't marry the love of their life. They marry the girl that's around when they're ready to settle down. That's the truth. So it doesn't matter how much you remind them of their mother. It doesn't matter how much you cook for them or the fact that you wipe their butthole when they shit themselves in the bed. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do for them. They will appreciate it, but they will take it for granted if they're not ready for something. He will never see you in that light. Men have to decide on their own that they're looking for something. And then when they decide that, that they're finally ready, whoever is standing in front of them, that is going to be the person they will most likely end up with. She gets married, she's pretty much set. No, you're not set because that little paper can be ripped up the next day. Can it though? After that? Not, not unless they have a prenup, but even if they have a prenup, a lot of women can fight I that in court. I should sign a prenup. Yeah, I agree. If he has money, then of course she'd be signing a prenup. What the hell are you there for? Well, because if a man works for everything they have and some girl just walks in and thinks it's gonna be handed to her feet, I think, you should be able to sign a prenup. And if they get offended, they're there for the wrong reasons. Thank you. 45% of working women by 2030, um, or in the working in the working age, 25 to 40, are expected 45%, so almost flip a coin, 50% almost, will be not married, no kids, okay, by 2030. I just wasn't expecting guys to still be so immature in their 30s or be so scared of commitment mm. because now I feel like they have an extra like when they're a frat boy and they're like yeah I'm, not, I'm just trying to live my life like whatever okay that's still annoying but we get it you're 23 and you want to live life but when you're 34 when you're 35 and you're still like yeah I don't know what I want I'm like dude you're like old <laughs> <laughs> It's not that men are afraid of commitment or that they're being immature. It's that he spent his entire 20s building. He was not out there spending money that he didn't have. So by the time he's in his 30s, he's actually in his prime, which means that he's not going to settle for somebody that's not worth his peace, his time, or his resources. Women are just different because most of them want to settle down by the time they're in their 30s in order to have children. But it's not because you're more mature, ladies. You're not superior to men. It's simply that you want different things. And it's not to say that you won't find a woman in her 20s that wants to settle down or a man in his 30s that wants to settle down, but it definitely is more rare these days. I'm 33, paid off home, my own business, zero debt. I'm extremely picky with the girl I'll share my life with. I even cook. Now, what happened was he spent his 20s getting burnt by woman in their finding myself era. Now, we just don't care. Tried the commitment thing. She decided it wasn't for her after 16 years. My son and I are good with just us. Not scared of commitment. Was looking for that in my 20s. Now there aren't many women who are worth my time. Spot on. 36. And I've opted to go solo the rest of my life rather than risk years of joy with another partner only for them to eventually leave. Worked hard in my 20s so I could play hard in my 30s. 38. Now never going to settle with anyone. Learned my lesson. It's amazing when they can't get a man to commit they call them immature. That man isn't immature at all. He just doesn't want to commit to you. That man probably has been working non-stop to build himself. 
Why would he just allow just anyone into his life, especially when he's at his prime years? A lot of women may be pretty, but they have horrible personalities. Going down that road is just not worth it. How do you feel about the prospect of marriage? Are you bullish or are you bearish uh, on marriage? So for myself personally, I, it's a decision I'd have to make at a later time. But overall, the institution is going to suffer. But it'll reach a point of equilibrium where a certain group of people are just going to be perfectly in balance for equilibrium for one another. The incentive for men to get married right now is just it's dying off because of ugly court, because of what's happened where women are out there openly boasting about juicing men and because of things like open... It's nobody's fault. It's not like it's just guys' right. fault or women's fault. Marriage is on the decline and the divorce rate is going up. But then it was too much. He was too great. We did it for three months. He was not a pushover. He had friends. He was cool. He was perfect. And he took me places and spent money on me. And he had a car and he had a bank account. And he had health insurance. And I broke up with him. I went back to my ex who got me a $15 gift card to Taco Bell for my birthday. It doesn't matter how good you are to them. It's never enough. She said the man was too great. But the end result was her going back to her ex. Apparently having your life in order can scare certain women. Good nice guys always finish last. This is why marriage is a bad idea for men. A marriage used to give a man a stable life. A life in which he was enjoying the support of a wife while he was providing financial security. But today the divorce rates are so high that men often find themselves having to pay half of what they've made during the marriage. And because the traditional roles of men being the breadwinners and women being the homemakers are no longer the norm, there is a lot of confusion. There's more equality and because women work nowadays, they've become way more independent and they have less time to be busy with playing the traditional role of the wife. But men find it hard to adapt to this new role of not not just being a financial provider, but also having to help around the house because the wife doesn't have time anymore to do it all alone. And although women wanted to work and therefore they entered the man's world, men never asked to enter the women's world and to also become homemakers. And that's why many men don't want to get married anymore. They feel it's a ripoff. They think that at the end of the day, it will cost them a lot of money and it will cost their peace of mind because they don't have a peaceful life at home. It is sad because I know so many young people who want nothing to do with marriage and they have great jobs to provide. It's not a good investment for guys anymore. It does cost him a lot of money. After 20 years of marriage, I lost more than half. I have a nice house, a nice car, a good job and a boat. I plan to stay single and just date casually or do short-term relationships. I don't think I would have achieved success if my wife wouldn't have been there to give me a stable home and be my advocate. Kept me on track a lot of years ago. My ex wanted it traditional, so even when I paid for everything and she made twice as much, she still wanted half in divorce. Karma now is she's paying for everything. The older generation, or even the younger generation of men, are waking up and seeing marriage for what it is. A big scam in disguise. That contract only benefits one person, and it is not men. Most of these women today just want the wedding and not the marriage. They love having the title wife, but don't understand what comes with it. What is the point of even marrying then? In this city, there are so many women that the men are forced to have three mistresses and don't work. with your person over marriage when you should realize that you caused that situation with your thinking about they don't want me why haven't they married me yet it's been x amount of time and i'm not married why aren't we married that's what caused it have you realized that yet dana has the penny fucking drop that you caused him not to marry you because you should not be breaking up with anyone over marriage you're causing that you could have been fucking married by now if you'd listen to me it's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore Marriage. I mean, obviously marriage. Marriage is a scam. Marriage. And I've decided that getting married is a scam. A scam that's been around so long we don't realize it's a scam. How about pretending like you don't want to get married because nobody wants to marry you? How about being able to petition for child support when the guy didn't want the kid in the first place? How about divorcing the guy and being able to take all of his assets? How about men having to pay just to take you out on a date? How about feminism? How about affirmative action? How about equal opportunity employment? How about Mother's Day? 
How about Valentine's Day? Baby showers, monogamy, bachelorette parties, 50-50 partnerships, engagement parties. I mean, the list goes on and on, but there's nothing more ridiculous than women pretending that marriage doesn't benefit them in every single way. Out of all the languages in the world, this man right here chose to speak facts. Marriage is a big scam. Wake up.